How's it going guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and in this video I want to talk about whether or not we can get Facebook ad results for our social media marketing clients. No, I don't waste no time. So guys, as I mentioned in the introduction, today we're going to be looking at uh, whether or not we can get results for our social media marketing clients. And this question was from uh, someone in the Lifestyle Design community, which is a free Facebook group. Um, if you aren't already in the group, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a free social media marketing Facebook group. We basically just exchange knowledge, exchange ideas, and there's a lot of freebies in there, including a free social media marketing beginner course. Now with that said, um, I basically got asked a question uh, because obviously we just all assume right that we can just get results for any particular niche a particular industry uh, this is obviously excluding the fact that you know there's some kind of pandemic going on right now but um you know basically we can get results for anyone with facebook ads and then i got the question um you know is that actually true you know can we actually go uh, and get results for any particular industry or any particular niche with Facebook advertising. Now, before we actually begin this video, I'm just gonna give a quick disclaimer. If your potential client uh, falls under the gambling, adults, uh, any drugs, um, online pharmacies, um, what else, like tobacco, weapons, spyware, anything like that, then obviously the answer is no, that is against Facebook's advertising policies. Fun fact, even, um, basically non-official subscription um, type products or services are also um, against Facebook's advertising policies. So if you are trying to promote a SaaS product, uh, make sure you just triple check everything and make sure that um, you know it, it is actually compliant with Facebook, okay? Now, with that said, um, the best and probably the easiest way to figure out if you can actually run Facebook ads for that particular you know industry niche product or service is to check out page transparency or the facebook ad library of competitors so let's say for example um you know, your client has got three local competitors um, your potential clients obviously then what you can do is you can go to those competitors go onto their facebook page go down to page transparency which at the time recording this is on the left hand side with the new facebook update um, and then you can see if they are running advertisements okay if they are running ads then you know that's almost a green light that you can run ads for your potential client as well, okay? But with that said, another thing you can also look at, which will basically confirm that the ads are actually profitable, is to look at when they were published, okay? If your potential client's competitors are running like 20 different variations of ads, and the time of publishing was set up yesterday or a few days back, then you know, okay, they're still trying to figure out you know, the right formula and trying to figure out how to get these ads to be profitable. So that does not necessarily mean that the ads are working, the ads are performing, and the ads are converting, okay? If the ads were set up, like let's say six months ago, and they are still active today, then the chances are, unless you know they've forgotten about it, which I highly doubt, uh, chances are that the ads are profitable and that they are performing well, okay? So that is just a quick little tip uh, for you guys. If you do have a potential client and you're unsure about the niche, or if you're unsure if uh, Facebook ads would work, try and find a competitor, go down to page transparency and see if their competitors are running ads on Facebook. If they are and they've been set up for a longer period of time, then you know that the chances are that you know your potential clients can actually run ads successfully as well. Okay, now another thing you can also look at is where are the competitors ads going to? Click on the advertisements and see, okay, are they being sent to a landing page? A specific web page on their website uh, you know is it an email opt-in is it um, you know, some kind of lead form on Facebook check it out where they are you know basically directing or siphoning all of that traffic to and then reverse engineer from there so you can figure out what their aims are what what their objective is and try and figure out you know how you can do that for your clients as well so basically what you're doing is modeling success uh, obviously don't just blatantly copy it but model what works okay if they if their ads are you know, being published since, uh, let's say, you know, six months ago, then you know, and then you basically just know that that funnel 
converts okay or that it's performing well otherwise they would switch it off okay so you can look at that reverse engineer it and model that for your own potential clients okay so that was just my quick tip for today short and sweet uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've got any more tips on doing research for your potential clients or if there's any niches that i haven't mentioned that you know aren't allowed to you know basically run ads for leave it all in the comments down below also comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already i've checked my statistics and apparently 60 percent of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to that channel so you know if you do enjoy these videos make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really does help this channel grow thanks again for watching and i'll see you all in the next video